Hello everyone and good day. In the last video, I've shown you a method that is used to convert decimal numbers into binary into a format called fixed point representation. In this video, I'm going to show you a different method that is used to convert decimal values into floating point representation in binary. The main difference between fixed point representation and floating point representation is that in the fixed point representation, the position of the binary point or the decimal point is fixed at a given position. It never changes. In the floating point representation, the, the position of the decimal point or the binary point floats to the left or to the right depending on the value of the, fra of the fraction or the fractional value. If the fractional value is very small, the binary point is floated to the left to accommodate for more position. If that, however, if it is large, the position of the binary point is floated to the right to accommodate for lesser precision. Now, uh, let's use an example. For example, we have 156.6425, a decimal value which we will convert into floating point representation in binary. This is done usually by converting the value into two parts an exponent and a mantisa. The exponent is computed by repeated division where the value is continuously divided until the integer part becomes a zero. So in this example, we divide the value we use an Excel for using an Excel formula by two. In this case, we see that the integer part, which is 78, is non-zero. What we usually do at this point, we just continue the division process. We, we, we copy the quotient and paste it by value. Then copy the formula to divide the, the running quotient. Now, uh, the result is 39, which is still not a, a non-zero value. So we continue on with the, our division. It gives us 19. So we still continue with 19 being a non-zero and we div dividing 19 we have 9.7 so we, we continue again by using uh, the same excel formula four is non-zero so therefore we we do the same process of continuous division by just copying the formula we are nearing a zero value. We just move on, however. We have a one, so we copy. And this will be our final division. The integer part becomes a zero. So in this case, we are going to count the number of division. We can do that in a spreadsheet by numbering the, the lines. In this case, if we compute our our if we store our uh, floating point value using an exponent of so let's say uh, five bits, five bits. Our exponent is eight, so in five bits that that will be zero, zero. One zero zero one zero zero. That's our five bit exponent, and we can have a ten bit mantisa. So our mantisa in this point is point six one one. It's a, it's a long binary number. What we will do is convert this value. Uh, into binary we use our usual uh, the uh, our usual table i have i already have it and so we we'll just copy it anyway up to 10 binary places let me remove the marks and then 
let me adjust the column and we now have the place values during which we will compute the value at each position by a multiplication and then we will copy our our mantisa which we will convert using pick mark and subtract we'll get the sum of our computed value this is the running sum and we will con subtract this sum from the original mantisa we'll color this red so it will be easy to remember and with this table we start picking and marking so we know that 0.5 can is our first pick being the biggest number from 0.6 we cannot subtract 0 0.25 if we do so that will be our, our running uh, difference will be negative also we cannot mark 0 0.125 so we mark 0 0.06 we're left with 0 0.04 so we can mark 0 0.3125 we're left with, with 0 0.018 we can mark this and then we cannot mark this because it's will become negative however we can mark this and if we try to mark this it becomes negative so our 10 bit mantisa in this example is 100 zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, zero. so that's the uh, binary equivalent in floating point format let's have another example this time we use a small number so let's say 35.62 okay. so we'll repeat the same process of continuous division to compute for the exponent we paste the value and copy the same formula okay. and then we copy the same value again copy it being a non-zero we copy it again two is also a non-zero so we copy it again we divide it by two again we have one and finally we will have our final division So we now have a zero integer value so therefore we'll just count it the number of division so our exponent is in this case is the count which is six remember we have a five bit exponent therefore it will be zero zero one one zero our mantisa which we will compute in 10, ten bits is yes. now we will go back to the process of pick and mark to compute for the value anyway we'll just copy the table which we have created before Just copy this and then transfer it here. And we will use the okay, Mantisa, the new Mantisa. Remove the previous mark. Now to, be, to make our whole table visible we change our sizes okay. 
we start picking and marking okay we know that 0.55 is greater than 0.5 so we pick this okay, we are left with 0 0.05 so we cannot pick 0.25 and 0.125 we also cannot pick 0 0.06 we can point pick this we are left with 0.25 so we can pick this 0 0.009 is greater than 0 0.007 so we pick this 0 0.0018 so that we can pick this we can pick this we can pick this however now we mark the blank squares with zero so our uh, mantisa in this point is one one two three zeros one 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 three one zero zero one okay. let's compare it with our previous value okay, it's different so 35.62 in binary floating point format is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 followed by amantisa 1 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. i hope that demonstrates the process because in the next video i'm going to compare uh, fixed point and floating point representation and uh, demonstrate the advantage of, of using floating point over fixed point representation. Bye for now and see you in the next video.